Hi, my name is Buddy Mitchell and I just got home from work. I've been hankering for some Polish cabbage rolls. So I decided to make a video and show you how to do them too. And this is what we're going to need to do this. We're going to need cabbage. Three heads of cabbage. We're going to need some onions. We're going to need some garlic. We're going to need two pounds of hamburger meat. We're going to need some rice. We're going to need one 27, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. We're going to need one can, same size of diced tomatoes. We're going to need some tomato paste. We're going to need some tomato soup, small can. We're going to need two cans, 27, 28 ounce of sauerkraut. All right, so we're on the prep time. If you don't have a big pot like I've shown you, go ahead and get one. Uh, it really helps and the worst thing you want to do is cook the cabbage leaves right on the bottom of the pot. It will tend to burn them and they'll be soft and you might go through five or six leaves that are unusable. All right, let's go ahead and start our actual prep. We got a cabbage cooking, uh, rice is cooking. So what we're going to do, and this is steps we're going to follow. First thing I'm going to do is cut up my garlic. I'll just go ahead and put this off to the side. Next step is we're going to go ahead and cut off our onion. I try to look for sweet onions. Uh, I'll find if I use the real rancid onions or real strong onions, they kind of overbear on the taste. So. Look for a sweet onion in the store. Oh, jeez, they're getting bad. My eyes are watering. This is the part I hate about it. But, you gotta be done if you want the results. And let's take the onions and put them off to the side. Rice is cooked. Looks pretty good. We're ready for some messy stuff. Remember that two pounds of hamburger I was talking about? Well, let's just go ahead, take the wrapper off, and we're gonna chunk that right in there. We're gonna take our rice that we cooked, and we're gonna put it in there also. Remember, this is hot. Because First step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna season this up a little bit, a little bit of pepper. I hate these salt shakers. So we're just gonna take the top off, pull a bit in there. A little bit of salt, not too much. Go ahead and add our onions. And we're going to go ahead and add our garlic. Alright, this is where we start to have a little bit of fun. Alright, what we got in here, we got a hamburger, we got a rice, we got our onions, and we got our garlic. Yep, forgot something. We want to put two whole eggs in there. going to do to this is we're going to go ahead and add some cooking oil. Uh, pretty much your choice. For right now I'm going to put in one cup of cooking oil. See that mess? We got to mix it. And you can take a spoon and mix it. But there's only one way to do this. It's either the right way or the wrong way. And this is the right way. Watch. Mm 
All right. We got a hamburger mix made. Uh, we've actually got two, three heads of cabbage. I didn't have enough room for the four, but I had three. And they're cooked. Took right at about an hour and 15 minutes to cook the heads of cabbage. So we're ready to start preparing our cabbage leaves. All right, our cabbage is ready. These come out of the pot. They're going to be pretty, uh, pretty hot. So you might want to let them cool down a little bit or dunk them in some cold water. But anyways, after you got them cold and ready to go, you want to take around the head right here, or the root, whatever you want to call it, and you want to cut around that. And you want to extract it. Trash. But you still got some in here, so you want to go ahead and dig it out. The whole objective is to get the leaves to come off this thing without any real problems. So now I've got that part out too. And my leaves should come off. Fairly simple. Don't throw any don't throw anything away. You're gonna use it. I see that brown spot on there? That's what I was talking about with the with the pot. You don't want too many of those. You're really ruining some leaves. This leaf came right off. It's one of the outer leaves. Sort of just what I call a garbage leaf. Don't throw it away. You're going to use it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run some water over the surface of this and I'm going to see if I can get these leaves to break off just real nice and clean. Oh yeah, they're coming off great. Garbage leaf. Garbage leaf. Garbage leaf. Look at the size of that. All considering, look at the size of that leaf. You can see that's how the folds in it. I could have cooked that a little bit longer. It's still kind of stiff. This is one of the outside leaves. And you can see how that's pretty nice actually. Now what we're gonna do is these aren't gonna fold real well because I got this rib on it right here. What we wanna do and how you do it's up to you is we wanna take that rib right there. We want to cut it off. You can either slice it like that or there's another little trick you can use. You can come over to your cutting board and you can just take and V notch that rib right on out of there. So we're ready to start making our cabbage rolls. Alright, these insides, what was left over after we got our leaves off, let's go ahead and prep those because we want to put that on the side too. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up. And now I bring my big pot back into play again. All those leaves we took off the outside, they were kind of mushy mushy, but we're going to use those. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread those out on the bottom of the pan. And this is going to prevent the heat on the bottom of the pan spoiling our meal. Okay, we're ready to start making some cabbage rolls. I uh, need a teaspoon. I need a leaf. So I spread it out. Now I'm going to take a teaspoon of my hamburger mix. I'm going to plop it right there. 
just about a teaspoon will do it. I'm taking my cabbage roll, roll it that way, take the sides, fold them in, and I'm going to roll the cabbage roll. Alright, I pretty much got what I consider my bottom row of cabbage rolls, so I'm ready to proceed. They need to go in this pan. Now that's what they look like in the pan. All right, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and I've got my, I squished all the juice out of the, my sauerkraut. And I just went ahead and poured my crushed tomatoes into a bowl to make it easier to handle. Sauerkraut, crushed tomatoes on the bottom layer. And we're going to get some of our packing and we're going to cover, we're going to cover the bottom of the pan, oh, not the bottom of the pan. We're going to cover the uh, bottom layer with some backing material. Then we're going to take our sauerkraut and we're going to dump that in there and then just spread it around. You can pat it down a little bit. We're going to take our crushed tomatoes we're going to pour it in there. And then we're just going to spread that around nice and even. And now I got my second row built. And it's time for... Guess what? We need some packing. It's time to finish off our little meal here. We're going to put our diced tomatoes on. We're going to add our tomato soup, and this is no particular order. You can do it however you like. We're just going to make sure that it gets around. Paste. Remember your sauerkraut? Place it right over our Put all that nice sauerkraut right on top of there and top it off with our tomato sauce. Well, last of all, we're going to take a stick of butter. Another stick of butter. And just place that on top. You know how some meals they just uh, seem to taste better after they're in the refrigerator and they've been reheated two or three times? This is one of them. Uh, first time, you know, things don't have a chance to really marinate together. But after about the second or third time that you have these, ooh, buddy, the garlic and the onions and all that stuff just kind of mixes together and man, oh man. And one might wonder, sauerkraut? I really don't like sauerkraut. I've had people eat this and say they don't like sauerkraut. They just scarf it up and want more. 
this pot should feed easy, six, seven people. And relatively inexpensive to make. You saw what I put in it. All right, let's get to cooking. And I get to sit down and watch some TV and take a break. It's already been a long day. So what we want to do is we want to clean off a little bit of this top packing. And we get down here and we get one of our cabbage rolls. Yeah, let's get two. Then we'll take some of our stuff. Get some of that juice. Check out and see how they are inside. Now this isn't meant to be eight inch slices, this is nice and neat. This is a farm food. So you kind of mix it all up, Just put it on the plate, salt, pepper it to taste, and have at it. Uh, they're pretty good this morning. The next couple, two or three days, because they're reheated, they'll get better and better and better and better. Oh. Thanks a lot for watching. My name is Buddy Mitchell. Bye.